Okay, here we are again live to have our to make our car sketching tutorial number 19. I'm just waiting for you guys to arrive. At the moment nobody is there yet. Like we are a little bit early. So I am preparing myself. Okay, two people are there. Ciao, Marcin. How are you? Hey, Ray, Mr. Ray is here too. Now we are four. Ciao, Mr. Freak Out. <laughs> Hello. So we just wait, let's wait a couple minutes. So I, I saw that some of you liked a lot my my sketch, my artistic sketch that I did yesterday or two days ago, yesterday I think, which was about a mouth of a lady, beautiful lady of course, nice weather in UK, wow, that's great news, because if in UK there is a nice weather, that means that uh, we can open up a champagne bottle, <laughs> I was in UK several times, it's true, you go from uh, rain to sun, sometimes in the same day. I had the chance to go during summer or just before summer. So, but I know I have quite a lot of friends that are living there. They are designers there or not designers, just Italian friends. I have a very good friend, Italian friend, with who I, I basically I grew up in my little hometown that since uh, 12 years, He's married and living in London as a web designer. And he's very happy. I was at his house with my boys one time uh, three years ago. And it was really, really nice. We arrived from Paris in, with a train. And uh, ciao, Aditya. Ciao. And uh, hey, Siddharth, you're back. Great. So we were we went with the train from Paris to London. Fantastic! In two hours we were downtown. Then of course my friend came to pick us up to the station to the train station, and it was quite a nice uh, thing to take uh, the, the the metro, and uh, and and then arrive after about twenty minutes in his little villa just next to London. In one day, I know as in Postman, I can expire quite a lot. As in, in Postman, Postman, expire quite a lot. All right. So, let's, uh, thank you for the t-shirt. <laughs> thank you. So, we are at nine. Let's wait just a couple more. All right, and uh, then we will start. Today I did some gardening because the weather here is very nice. Hi, Brian, Mr. Brian Ding. Where are you from? Mr. Brian or Brian. Maybe it's Brian, I guess. Mr. Brian, write down where, where are you coming from? Oh, where are you writing from? China! All right! Now, my question is, how do you do to, from China to see us? Because I know that YouTube is not visible there. I don't want to know. That's your problem. <laughs> anyway, thanks for connecting from, from China. That's very nice. I was in China three times. Quite an experience. Very nice. But weather, the way we were talking about weather in, in UK, uh, compared to to France, now we have somebody from Germany. All right, Yatiraj. And where are you from? I mean, I think you are Indian. Maybe you are studying at uh, Fortsheim. The VPN. I know. I know, Ray. I knew it. I, that's why I said it. You know, I was just pulling his leg. I know that I have uh, some. Uh, designers, friends that are working those uh, many 
Chinese design studios, which are very, very well done. They're doing really nice stuff. And they are also on Facebook, YouTube, and everything else. Hi, Fethi. Welcome back. Mr. Kuno. Ciao. Aditya wrote something long. Let me read. Very few automotive designers around the world do this much interaction with people. Well, ah, you mean you talking about me? Yeah, well, well, you know, I explain to you why. I'll explain to everybody. Now we are 15. Very soon we are going to start. I was in Beijing for exchange during that time. I used that. I understand. But the question is, VPN is legal or not? That's the question. Because my friends didn't tell me. They said, yeah, I know I have it. I know I have a, a system <laughs> to get in contact with Europe and, and USA. Uh, reply to my email. Aditya Wankere. You know what, Aditya? Mr. Aditya Wankere. Send your email again. And send it, please, to Luciano Bove, all together. Hashtag, no, excuse me, <laughs> not hashtag. Arabas, okay, at, at yahoo.com. Send that email, because that's my private email. I kept looking at my watch all day because I was excited about tutorial. I love sketching along. Great, Kumail. I am very happy and I'm sure a lot of people are happy with you too. And um, I wanted to tell to Aditya Munde that uh, I have been teaching for 11 years when, while I was a designer, okay? I was working in Fiat and I was teaching at the Art Center Europe, okay? My school in America for almost 20 years, I had a school in Switzerland. And from Torino, where I was working, to Switzerland was where 250 kilometers. And I used to and I used to go over there with my car on the Fridays and teach Saturday. I did this for four years and I enjoyed a lot. It was my start, my beginning as a teacher. And then from there I, I really liked it. So in Italy we got two design schools that start doing the same thing. They asked me to to teach, I taught for them too, and then Instituto Europeo di Design in Torino, where I was the chairman, the boss of the transportation design department, with uh, 12 teachers, all foreigners, international team, and I was teaching to the first class and the last class before graduation. So what I'm doing with you is basically what I used to do with the first class, the basics. Okay, so now we are 12, uh, don't control it if you don't make... Uh, okay, I understand, Brian, I understand. That's good. Well, you know, I think that uh, government must be smart. You know, today it's almost impossible to block everything. So, as long as you don't do, as you say, shitty stuff, but you are correct, I think that nothing is bad about that. Anyway, here we try to learn something. Now, look at this. I don't know if some of you, I mean, I know that some of you saw it. And I wanted to show it to you today because this is just a, one of the many sketches I do on my own when I, when I, thank you, thank you everybody for your compliments. But I'm showing it because uh, this one, it's something that uh, you should do also. Because when we, when we sketch cars, we must have that type of, I talk about talent, okay? This is an artistic talent, it's not illustration technique. Because this is an interpretation of a picture. I, I, I didn't put, I did not trace the picture, the picture was this small, okay? And this is this big. So uh, the picture was on my computer screen and this was on my paper. So. This means that here there is a all work about proportion, okay? The proportion of the, of the mouth, okay? This is the center line, <laughs> okay? And then there is a composition, you see? The composition, which is a 16-ninth, like a TV screen, all right? There is a lot of artistic element because you can see the shading, very light in some cases, ultra light here. Okay, 
but very dark in this area. So we get a focal point, which is here. The basic contrast, the most contrast area is this one. That's the focal point. The detailing here and the detailing in this area and in this area, it's less important. So here I am applying exactly all the same rules that we use when we do a car sketch, okay? And the nice thing is that uh, when you have that talent, you, you really enjoy it, because I really enjoy doing this. Besides, the, the model was really pretty, and for me, pretty beauty is very important. I'm sure that for you is the same thing. So, this is a little example, example to tell you that uh, don't sketch just cars. When you can, do a painting, take your pencil, do something artistic, or do something modern. Yeah, do something fine art. Make a, a fine art composition. Why not? This is a way to exercise your creativity. Whose sleep is there? <laughs> now, Ray, you want to too much. <laughs> no, this, uh, this is... Uh, I'm joking. This is a picture I found on the internet. If you go on Google, for those that have VPN, <laughs> if you go on Google, you can uh, uh, you can find. I know, I know already. You're joking. I'm joking too. Uh, you can find on Google, you know, black and white uh, lady photography or photos, and you will find a lot of beautiful pictures done by real photographers. And you can find or select a detail and be concentrated on that and try to make your representation of that, okay? And that's something else. Besides, this is a monochromatic. The picture was in color, okay? Now, I'm going to change the camera, the camera, my telephone. Um, I hope that uh, this time internet is not going to kill us. Uh, the Jaguar E-Type designer, I think, uh, is that what, is that, I, I don't understand, what are you talking about, is that what Jaguar E-Type designer, I think, ah, yeah, 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 yes, yes, I think so too, and not only the Jaguar E-Type, because uh, there is another, there is another um, car, which is a car that a lot of people know, okay, I'm just trying to set up this so that uh, we don't have any anything on top. All right. I think that this way should be fine. Now I'm putting myself in the right position. Okay. Okay. So you know, um, you know the, the other car, which is uh, the, the American, the American dream car the Corvette Stingray, that one has been designed, the whole hood, thinking of a, of a beautiful breast of a woman, because the designer that was a friend, the American designer at that time was old man, that was a friend of the, the real designer of the Stingray, said that the, all those huge things that are on the hood, like this, you know? You know, like that. And the wheels are there, of the Stingray. This would be like a, a breast, beautiful breast of a, of a 50, 50s woman. Sir, please provide to dollars on car sketching perspective, rasping proportion, shading, passionate about really want to learn it. Yes, Amy, I will. And this is a car sketch tutorial number 19. And uh, it's 19 <laughs> episodes that we do exactly what you wrote in your comment. So keep on following us. After this video that will be, of course, on the channel, you can go and check, if you didn't do it yet, all the other <laughs> episodes, because each episode talks about all the things that you listed correctly in your comment okay guys now let's take the breast uh, the sketch uh, the sketch uh, 
somewhere else so that we can start, okay, today. Okay, so as you can see, I always have the whole pad so that I get the nice softness. See there, don't laugh, okay? <laughs> All right, so um, today, some of you, I forgot to ask me, said, please, next time, can you make again an interior? This time we'll try to make an interior, okay? And, um, and that's what I want to do with you. We we'll start with the interior, then maybe after we can do an exterior. I was joking, Cedar. I was joking. You can laugh as much as you want, of course. Okay, so. I just make my bathtub, okay? I put a sort of a center line, all right? And now we can imagine that this is, okay, the belt line, all right? And this is a, a container, you know, as we said, a box, okay? In which we have one wheel usually is here, okay? And the other one is more in the front. Let's make something like this. All right, so this is to tell to our friend Annie Singh that this is just to make sure that we know the perspective, okay? All right. So this is one point perspective, okay? This is a box, as I said many times, vanishing point, it's here, somewhere around there, okay, far. And here we have our box. Now, in this box, we will try to sketch an interior, okay, full interior. And usually, I tell you the truth, when we don't have a, an important or a particular type of uh, interior uh, organization, usually designers start in the front, do a little bit the back, and concentrate on the front area. So here will be basically our focal point with a lot of uh, detailing, okay? Now, we can decide, for example, that this interior does not have the B-pillar, okay? This is a B-pillarless car. Okay, so I'm still working I'm still working on my structure, okay? To make sure that before I start sketching, I really have uh, the feeling of my box. Okay, so if I, I sketch kind of transparent, all right? we're gonna find ourselves a little bit like something like that. All right. Now, if this is the center, okay, I would say that in this area here, 
in this area, we will have the, the front seat. And then in this area, we will have the back bench or the back seat. All right. So let's let's do something now. Now, if I do if I do that, okay, I start with the section. Christian Mystery Car. All right, download. Okay, sir, one question, please. Mr. Krishna, tell me. I am here, I'm reading. So, even if I sketch, you can pose your question. I'll try to answer you. All right, so I take my, my section. Center line is here, we said, okay? This is center line, okay? That's a reference. Center line, okay? This is a reference. As we said, we use the center line exterior and interior to make sure that we know how to judge proportions, especially in perspective. What is mean by proportion question? Well, uh, uh, Christian, I really understand. I'm sorry. I don't understand your, your question. What do you mean by proportion? Quest proportion means that... Uh, Wait, uh, uh, before we, we continue, I'm trying to give you an example. Okay, look at this. Okay, I'm exaggerating, okay? Okay, now if I do a silhouette like that, Christian, do you think this is a good proportion? I mean, do you think that this car has a good proportion? This is the front, okay? And this is the rear. I'm waiting for your answer. Good proportion or bad proportion, this car? So you got it. Proportion. This with this and with this. The proportion is the right size to make sure that everything you design, you sketch, or you make, okay, everything, it looks good, it feels good, it feels right. This is bad proportion, because this is awfully ugly, too long, it's ridiculous. So, if I had to make the right proportion for that car, okay, I take the same wheelbase, all right, I do this, okay, the back was not so bad, okay? I would say that this is this is a good proportion. Right? This one. Maybe bigger wheels. Yeah. You see? This one is better. This is good proportion. Proportion is one thing. Design and creativity is another thing. All right, so we understood. That's proportion. After we make design, design is a hard or soft. Like this is a soft design. You see, a little bit bubble with some interesting section, right? Okay, this is a good proportion of a soft design. All right, good. Now let's go back to our sketch. So, we said this is the center line. I take this section here. And I try to, to do it again. All right. So if you I do this we can see that we have a we have a a sort of a different type of dashboard concept you know something that is uh, empty you know that gives space 
Mr. Brian, Brian is writing something. Say, I need to get to sleep. Now it's too late. Have a good night. Okay, I'm sorry. We already, before we were going at uh, 18.30, so we anticipated 30 minutes. Go to sleep, come back tomorrow, and check it out. It's the no episode number 19, okay? If you wish. Good night. Good night from all of us. All right. So, now, if I do that, and I just put my steering wheel there, I could imagine, okay, that all this, all this is a display. You see? So if I have a big display there, then maybe here, I don't need any more other you know, I maybe I don't need other instruments. So this is a a concept, let's say that uh, that also has only one big screen, very horizontal. Dashboard with LCD panel on top. Yeah, it is like that, yeah. Because you know, this is our... <coughs> okay. Now let's go on the car seat, okay, the front seat. <clears throat> so and then we can put in between a different type of uh, of center console which has uh, another type of uh, you know another type of uh, display maybe why not all right and has some functions also for the back, the back seat, for, so for the people sitting in the back. So now I'm starting to put a little bit of shading just so that we can see a little bit better. Okay, trying to do something a little bit uh, more how can I say, a little bit more creative.
So very quick sketching. And now I'm trying to make some lines so that uh, I can nail down the sketch a little bit better. And as we said, uh, and we did also for the, the exterior, we know that uh, You see? So that we can we can start seeing something. Of course there are mistakes, but that's not a big problem now because we are still doing our sketch. Very quick sketch. All right, uh, let me read, uh, you are great set, thank you, looks like dashboard, we'll see you this way, right. camera is shaking because of speed, you are great <laughs> Yeah, it's shaking because I have, a, I have a, a sort of a mechanical arm here for iPhone, which is a kind of, uh, has a very strange balance, so when I move my table, of course it's moving too, I'm sorry for that, uh, you are going to make some place behind the back seats Bo yeah here you mean the boot space yeah yes of course it is in the back here you know the boot space is here in this area all right so now that we did that we can imagine for example all right to do some some shading ah, this one is not good I'm not going to use that anymore it's too dry let's use another one let's see if this is better yes Okay, so now uh, a little bit on, on the seat, like this and like that, here too. All right, so what a viewer sketch. Uh, Ayush, this is a top view, one point perspective, which is a fake one point perspective. It's called top view, top view, one point perspective, which is the vanishing point. And then another one down here. All right, so quick sketching. Now, if I, I take again new, new sheet of paper, right?
And once again, I'm doing this for proportions, okay? This is center line. This one. So now that I have my elements, I have a steering wheel, have the top of the windshield, this is a front view. This is a straight front view, okay? Front view. From the interior, of course. I'm sitting in the bench in the back, I'm watching in my car, inside my car. I mess it up. See that, don't worry, you mess it up, it's okay, you learn from your mistakes. You can always redo it after. Now, I'm, uh, Christian, I'm drawing another dashboard, but big. Before I did uh, this one, okay, that gives an idea of uh, how I can sketch inside a box in transparency the whole interior and learn how I do that. Here, I am inside the car and I'm watching my dashboard, my interior, okay? And now I want to do something. So look what I do. Now I'm trying to make a center display, okay, with an area, this one, where we have few buttons, okay, just few, four, maybe four. You see, little by little, the, 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 what I have in my mind is starting to come out.
you see I'm trying I'm starting to divide my dashboard in two parts center part which is for the, the driver with his display this is a driver oriented dashboard Maybe you see be you can see better here like that. All right, and now that I did this, I do duplex as much as you can. Okay, great. So now that I did that, I want to make a line here because for me, this line is in the section, it's coming inside. So what I will do, I will just put my, you see, Now I let it dry, okay? And then I do the same thing on top. Why I do it on top? Because for me, this area, very light, is a different material. Okay, so I put a little bit of extra shadow here. All right. I let it dry and then we will use uh, another color, light color like this one, for example. Uh, maybe this one is too strong. No, let's use it. Let's see. And I'm tr what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to get the idea that so I make my reflection on the glass. I do the same thing on the other screen here.
Okay. Then I take uh, my pen to do some line work in some details. Because that part here is really in shadow. So I must make it, I have to make it very dark. And the top part also it must have a sort of a texture because it's just too light. So I'm gonna just work with lines like that, okay? All right, now. I put my lines just to give a, an idea of the steering wheel, even if it's not exactly correct, no big deal. It's just that our eyes have to complete, all right? Uh, one more question. Yes, in mind that uh, what's about some simple function like uh, music player, etc. Uh, you don't have to go into that detail, Christian. When we do quick sketching, it's useless, believe me. What is more important is to get an uh, ideas, okay? Now you have to think, is this paint, the yellow? Uh, is this the top black? You know, is the yellow not paint, but there is a, te a texture, so it's a different type of material? Maybe yes, why not? Okay, now I take, uh, I take, uh, I'm searching for, I found it. As you can see, I'm making a thick line at the bottom. And that's normal because this is a like a shadow, but at the same time, graphically, it's a, it's a holding, you know, our quick sketch. Those are little tricks, okay? Then once I did that, I can go and do some little details. For example, here, I'll show you. to make sure that uh, that the shading will uh, show well how the shape is. Those are little things that uh, usually I add on my sketches just to make it a little bit more clear how the volumes of what I'm doing, how they really are. And I do this by cross etching with my pen. All right, now that I did that, we can just put our lines here, which means that this is the end of our dashboard, okay? And we are, we are missing only one thing, which is probably, which is important, and we're gonna do it now. Imagine the air
okay? And we will do it here. That's the area where the air, the intake, the air outtake, that will come out, the ventilation. And we will do the same thing here. And of course, on this side, it's short. All right. Okay, I would say, yeah, air vents, exactly, thank you. I would say that uh, for the moment, you know, quick sketches, quick sketch, we could say that uh, this is a concept of dashboard, okay? Beautiful, ugly, who cares? What I wanted to show you is this view today, okay? That's important. So remember, you start from your box, you put your center line, then you put your center line on the left side, okay? If you are in India, on the right, <laughs> on the right side, because the steering wheel would be there, or in UK, okay? And then, and then with the, starting from the center line, you can start thinking, you know, how to organize your interior dashboard your concept okay all right so we did that and now if you don't mind i will do an exterior sketch again all right which is the one that i like the most because uh, don't forget that I am uh, I, I am born as a as an exterior designer more than an interior designer. Okay, always with our pen. You know, I saw some really beautiful uh, drawings lately where uh, the this is the front. Okay wheels front wheel rear wheel the the rear wheel is almost nothing it's a very super slim ellipse there you go and the front one of course is bigger but still and uh, perspective it's like that perspective lines all right Great stuff as always. Thank you, thank you, Luan. Thank you, sir. I'm struggling. Uh, what is it? So I am. I see that you. I was reading you. You erased it. You struggling with something? Let me know. Rohit, you're late, but don't worry. You just missed the only the only the the first hour. I'm making an exterior design. Uh, just, uh, hey, Mr. Roy, just for you, we started with this, okay, to talk again how to organize an interior, and then we did another one, which is a different view, a, a straight front view from the inside, from the interior, just to see how we can organize a dashboard, all right? So that's what we did. And now I'm starting exterior. Mr. Christian, I draw full car with good proportion, with good design. My problem is that my wheels go, go mess. Okay. Your wheels. Okay, uh, uh, Christian, there is a video on my channel, okay? Which is uh, called How to Sketch Wheels in Perspective. And it's a nice video, very quick, that tells you exactly how to do it. So I invite you to go and check it after this session, all right? You have all the answers in my, on my channel. You just search for the right video. You will find also the right image. You're welcome. See that, he's back. I'm struggling to create muscular bi bike tanks which have mercury all around. I understand. <laughs> I know. It's not always easy. So. So, if this is uh, the wheel on the other side, I would say that the wheel, you know, proportions, once again. Mm -hmm. 
I drive, I draw uh, a little bit in transparency. How many steering wheels fit in a dashboard in terms of proportion? I don't know. Leave you. Honestly, I don't know. I never thought about that. Because for us, it's, uh, you know, for us, you have a center line, then the center and the steering wheel is right there. That's how we organize interior. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. I never, I, we never thought about that. But you're right. It could be used, the steering wheel, as a size reference for the interior. So I won't try to do something. I don't know if I, I will be able to. Okay, I'm trying to organize a, a sort of a, a front end which is very aggressive. So I'm trying to put a center line in there so that I can get my proportions. You see? Can you see now? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the proportion between this light and this light. I like this light, okay? This one. And so around that idea, I try to, to put my sports car. You welcome, leave you. So it's a sports car or any other. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a kind of a sports car. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it looks like the Nissan, it's true. Making a little corrections there. Okay, so let's try to use an outline a little bit stronger to see better what I am doing. So I'm trying to block in a little bit those shapes to understand if what I'm doing makes sense. It's not so bad. So 
So I make my reflection, all right? My side reflection. Okay, now that I did that, I use my black marker or dark marker just to make better my shadow, okay? And then I use a, the gray, the number two, to play a little bit with the shading, okay? Just a little bit. Okay, then I, I try to find a, a marker. Here we go. No, this is a cool gray. I, I need uh, the pale, uh, the pale light blue. I'm searching for that one because that one is the idea of the sky. Okay, now that I have this, well, that render made with Eddie Mark tend to, to be more realistic. Uh, yeah, it's true. Uh, better for these works. Uh, yeah, with marker, with marker, you always have something. Uh, can I say that looks uh, sharper? Okay, I use my black pen now to clean up. My scape because now there is a little bit of things that are bleeding. Where is the greenhouse in this sketch? The greenhouse, this one. Okay, so. I clean up my lines. And I apply a little bit of line work so that uh, I can uh, I can show a little bit more about the 3D that I have in mind. So I make some detail. Some details to make sure that uh, I get a feeling of uh, realism, okay?
and uh, we are almost done. Yeah? Now this part here I'm always cross etching. Cleaning up the little corner there and putting some details here, for example. All right, so what do you think? Yeah, I will do, leave you, I will do it. Few reflections here, for example. Now I'm doing those uh, reflections. Little black lines that of course We gotta always make a, a kind of shading, unless it doesn't look real. Gotta control that shading, cross etching. You see? All right. Now that we did that. I had to fix few things, for example. Okay. You see, I'm checking a little bit perspective now. I'm trying to see if there is anything that looks really wrong because I don't I, I, I if I can if I can fix I will do it, of course. Now, what do I do? I take uh, not this one, I'll use the other one. What is it? Yeah, this one. No. I'm putting a little bit of this orange you see it looks better look little detail but it looks nice
All right, and now uh, let me check one more thing. Okay, now we take the white, our white pencil, okay? We make a nice sharp. And then we make a line here. Just a line that uh, disappears. All right, then we make another line here and here. Now, do you see that white line that I am adding? That one, it's important because over there we're going to put some uh, white spots of highlight. You see, I put it here so that we really see, we really see how the front light is. And after I put that, I can just make a little bit darker the inside part so that the graphics comes out even better. Look. just the inside part okay without touching the white line i don't want to destroy that white line white line that i put you see look how nice it looks now so now it's time to take our white wash with our magic little brush and then we will just we will just add but before we do that I just wanted to Wait, I just want to make a little bit of uh, of background. And I'm trying to be really parallel to the page, to the paper of the page, the edge. Okay, it looks better like that. It's important, it frames. It frames the whole thing. It looks really good. Okay. Now let's put the highlight. Remember, as I say always, that uh, focal point is here, it's here, so we will we, have a, virtually a line there where we're gonna put our highlights here, okay? Just a little there, but the main point is the focal point here. And the most important highlight is gonna be around here, and all the others will be smaller, okay? And will be always elliptical, okay? First of all, I put the one on the windshield. Like that. Okay, that's the first one. Now I take again the gouache and I prepare again the quality 
gouache on top of my on my brush to make sure that uh, the brush is prepared for the rest. And now this one, I'm going to do like that. Look. Before it dries, okay? And now before I do something, I just check if I really need another one maybe here okay finished can you see All right, so it took us uh, basically to do this one 30, 30 35 minutes. Uh, you know, um, as you can see, I'm going a little bit faster, okay, than, than before, because I'm trying to, of course, it's uh, now it's time for us to, to go a little bit faster. So I take uh, this marker here in the back, okay, and I just apply a very light color because the car is very contrasted, okay? So what I want to do, it's I want to do something that uh, it's light, but that re it's really helping to read better to read better you see it looks better like that it is a, it is a, like a support that color is the right one i'm cleaning up i'm cleaning up my brush all right so, wait that I will uh, put my, so today it's 9, 0, 5, 18, okay, so I will take a picture of this and then I will put it on uh, Instagram. Now that this is done. I'm so happy that uh, I am so happy that uh, we don't have any more the problem of YouTube with the uh, with the line. Okay, so guys, I think that uh, it's done for today. Now it is uh, 19:20 here. It's almost an hour 20 that we are together. It's quite a long time. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, yes, of course, it's uh, Christian, it's every Monday and Wednesday at the same time, all right? 18 o'clock p.m. in Paris, Paris time. So I will be there every Monday and every Wednesday. So next Monday, all right? If you wish, if you want, be back. You can uh, use that this video once that is done to to share it okay tell your friends if anyone has some uh, difficulties no problem uh, can come here and be connected with us and have fun all together trying to sketch something cool simple but cool the most important thing here don't forget is to get the basics of drawings that's the most important thing then the creativity and all the complicated stuff, it's up to you. 
but it will come later on. Okay? Thank you very much. Ciao.